Welcome to video number four in the Quick Start series for TechSite Builder. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create new pages or modify existing pages as well as creating blog posts. So uh, in this particular um, one, we're going to get started by clicking and going to our dashboard. And then we're going to go under content and look for where it says pages and click on pages. Now you'll notice that you have some pages already um, created when you first have your website built. Let's take a look at each of these pages and what they have in them and what you can do with them. So the first page we're going to select is About. If you click on the title, it'll take you to the page editor. Uh, you might get a little pop-up here. You can just dismiss that. So what you're going to see is the title of your page at the top and then some information about the link that the page, the URL that the page is, is, ex exists on. And then you have your content editor here. And this is where you can edit the actual, um, you know, the stuff that shows in the page. And here you have all of your basic uh, content editing buttons. You can add bold, italic, strike through, bulleted list, block quotes, horizontal line, some uh, alignment, right, left, uh, justified. This is all standard WordPress stuff. So if you're uh, familiar with WordPress, uh, you know what to do here. So for the about page, um, you'll see that I just have a, you know, a basic um, kind of just uh, how to get started here. It says write something about your business, your background, your history, your story, your commitment to your customers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I have um, a pre-written little blurb here that I'm going to paste. And then, um, all right, so say I want to, for example, I want this to be a bulleted list, right? I'm, I'm talking about aspects that set my business apart from the rest. So what I want to do is just highlight these items and then click the bulleted list button. And then that's going to create a bulleted list. Now, you'll notice it only uh, bulleted the first item. So what I'm going to have to do is just hit enter to create a break between each of these um, to make them their own bullets, just, just like a word processor. It's the same way a word processor works. You'll also notice that uh, uh, misspellings are underlined. So I could just right click that and then um, adjust the spelling of that. Also, um, you can add different headings. So if I want to break up this page with a, the heading, for example, the Jiffy PC difference, I want that to be a nice bold heading. What I can do is come up to my list of icons here and click the toggle, the toolbar toggle. When I do that, it shows me another row of icons. And one of these uh, icons is a drop down box where I can choose a heading style. So for me, maybe I want to make this a heading three. I don't want it to be too big. You'll notice it also applied it to the line underneath. Um, that, that just means what I did was I, I should have had a, a line break in between those two things. Um, so then I can adjust it again by highlighting this, uh, this block of text and then just clicking paragraph. That uh, brings it back to just be a normal paragraph. Another thing you might want to do is um, add your own HTML. So you can do that by clicking the text tab up here in the upper right. If you click the text tab, then you can see it shows you the raw HTML of your page. So for example, that heading three that I just created, um, it's wrapped in the H3 HTML tag, as well as the unordered list is uh, all HTML. So if you know how to uh, use HTML, you might uh, want to come here to add your own HTML code. I'm gonna go back to the visual editor. Another thing you might wanna do is add an image. For example, I might want to add uh, like a picture of me. So you can put the, the uh, cursor where you want to add your picture and then click the Add Media button. You can choose from images you've already uploaded or click Upload Files to upload a new one. I'm just going to go ahead and choose uh, the uh, picture of me then click Insert. I'm going to adjust it so you can click the image and then drag from the corner to adjust its uh, its size. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to go ahead and align it to the right. So you can hover over it and then click uh, one of these buttons to align it in a different way. So there's my image. 
All right, some other things you might want to do on your page. If you scroll down, you'll see the theme SEO settings. We're going to cover this in a different video. And then down below, you'll see the layout settings. So for example, if I want the sidebar, by default, the sidebar shows up on the right. If I want to have the sidebar be on the left, or if I want a small sidebar on the left and another one on the right, or if I just want this page to be full width with no sidebar, I can choose the full width. So once you have the page set up how you want, you just click Update. And then I can visit the front end of my website, click on the About page, and now you can see all of the information I just entered, the heading, the list, and the image. All right, so that's uh, the pages. Now let's talk about uh, some other pages. That's the About page. Let's go back to pages and look at some of these other pages. The blog page, if you click on that, you'll see that uh, it says this, this is a placeholder page for your blog. Do not delete this page or your blog will disappear. So this is just a placeholder page. We don't want to, really, we don't want to do anything to this page. So we're just going to skip it. Go back to view all the pages. The next page is the contact page. I can click on that. And you'll see in the contact page, I have uh, just a brief blurb saying, please fill out the form below and someone will get back to you shortly. And then this is called uh, a short code. And what a short code is, is it's just a little, uh, little code inside the square brackets. And what this does is it's gonna display your contact form. So uh, really quick, I can uh, you know edit this to um, whatever I want. So let's say I just want to put in my own blurb here about the fact that um, I will get back to um, people within 24 hours. So I can put that there. You can add whatever text you want above and below the contact form. If you click update and then you just want to view this page directly, you can click this uh, view page link it's up here at the top, it's here in the middle. If you click on that, it'll take you directly to that page that you're editing. And you can see what it looks like. So here you can see the contact form. Here's the text that I just put in there. And then here is the contact form. And that's basically taking the place of that short code that you saw in those square brackets. Now this uh, contact form, uh, your clients can fill out and then when they click send, it'll get sent to that email address that you filled out in your business info section of the dashboard. All right, now this contact form short code, you can put this anywhere. So if you create a new page, you can type in square bracket open, contact dash form, close square bracket, and your contact form will appear in that page. So that's very cool, very convenient. You can add the contact form in any page that you want to. All right, next we're going to go back to all pages and we're going to look at the home page. The home page is kind of like your blog page. It's just a placeholder. You do not want to delete it and you don't really uh, need to do anything to it. Um, it's just a placeholder page. That's how the WordPress backend works. Next is services and testimonials. These are also placeholder pages, so you don't need to worry about those. Um, the only thing that you might want to do to the placeholder pages, especially services and contacts, you can or services and testimonials, you can change the title. And if you change the title, then that's going to change the title of the page itself on your website. Other than that, you don't really need to change anything for those pages. All right, the next thing I wanted to talk about is blog posts. So if you click on the blog posts menu item, which is underneath content, it'll take you to a list of all of your blog posts. Now, I definitely recommend that you have a blog on your website. This is a great way to uh, get good search engine optimization. It's also a way to keep your clients engaged, and it's also a way for you to show that your business is an authority, that you know what you're talking about. You can blog about different computer repair or computer consulting aspects, and uh, that's, a, that's a great way to show prospective clients that you know what you're talking about. So you'll see there's one um, you know, kind of filler, uh, just example blog post here. It's called Hello World. If you want to add a new blog post, you just click Add New. You can give it a title, something like New Blog Post. You can type in some text. Um, this is my new blog post. 
and again, format it however you want. Then what you can do with blog posts that are different from all the other uh, types of content is you can give them a category. So uh, it's good to categorize your uh, blog posts uh, with broad categories like computer repair. So you can just type that in here, computer repair, hit enter, and then it automatically selects that category. And then you can check or uncheck the different categories that you want to categorize this blog post with. Scroll down and you'll see the tags box. Tags work similarly to categories. You can type in, usually tags are more specific. So for example, if I'm talking about screen repair, I can uh, type that in there. Or if I'm talking about a certain brand of computer like Toshiba laptops, I can make that a tag as well. And uh, that's basically all you need to know about creating a blog post. Once you're done, you click publish. And then if you visit the front end of your website and you click on blog, I have all of the blog posts that I've created listed in reverse chronological order. So the newest one is showing on top and then that, that sample uh, blog post is showing underneath. And then I can click on the title of the blog post and it will show the full blog post as well as a comment form if someone wants to leave a comment. And uh, you can also see that the category is showing here and the tags are showing here. So if someone uh, who's reading your blog wants to see more blog posts about Toshiba laptops, they can click on that and then it'll take them to a list of all your blog posts that are about Toshiba laptops. As you can see, there's only one because I only have one uh, so far. But once you start building up a list of blog posts, uh, these, these uh, links will come in handy for your visitors. All right, let's go back to um, editing uh, the blog posts. Now, um, now if I want to get rid of a blog post, all you have to do is highlight over the, uh, the, the list, the blog list here, and hover over the item you want to delete and click trash. That'll get rid of it and it'll send it to your trash can, which you can access up here. And then if you want to delete it permanently, you can click delete permanently. All right, so that's how you add new blog posts to your blog. And that will do it for this particular video. In the next video, we are going to talk about the services and testimonials, how to add services and testimonials to your services and testimonial testimonials pages. All right, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to add services and testimonials to your services and testimonials pages. So I'll see you in the next video.